Hey, what's up guys? This is Kitty Cloudy. And about a month ago, I made this video on AOSP 7.0 Nougat for your Nexus 5, which was the first and the only legit method to get Android 7.0 Nougat on your Nexus 5. And since then, the videos got a lot of views. And well, this is an update to that. This is Android 7.1 Nougat for your Nexus 5. And this is the full review. Alright, so before we go into the full review, let me give you some tips before you flash. Firstly, do not dirty flash the thing. Wipe your system completely before flashing because dirty flashing does not work nicely with this ROM and if you do that, you will lose your root and your old G apps wouldn't work anyway. And speaking of G apps, your old 7.0 G apps will not work with this because of the API level difference, so which is sort of obvious. But the thing is that at the moment, there are pretty much no G apps available for 7.1. So what I did was that I took the 7.0 Banks G apps, hacked and tweaked the script for compatibility and it just works perfectly. I'll leave a link to my reddit post for more info and you can get a download link from there as well. Alright so let's talk about the new features in AOSP 7.1 for Nexus 5. Firstly, app shortcuts in 7.1. It's sort of like 3D touch on the iPhone 6s and the 7 but it's for a long press. For example, let's say I hold and long press the camera app icon and I will get two options like take a selfie or take a video and yeah, stuff like that. You can take a specific action of an app just by long pressing the app icon. But the thing is that the support is really limited and only works with a few Google apps at the moment. Not even all. Next, we have a slightly tweaked notification shade which shifts the setting and the expansion arrow to the corner giving you more space and overall it looks cleaner and it's also a bit darker in color. Maybe it's just me but yeah it looks darker. And another small thing I noticed is that in the lock screen uh, your account profile picture isn't present in the top corner. Uh, it doesn't matter that much but there's that. And surprisingly that's all you get there's that, that's basically it. You don't get the support tab in the settings from the Google Pixel and the uh, Nexus 6P which is understood because it's a custom ROM but one thing which is missing is the new Manage Storage feature which you probably might have heard of and it automatically backs up your data to the cloud when you are running out of storage. It's, it's nowhere to be seen, it's, it's kind of disappointing, it has no signs of presence in the settings at all. I mean. The app is still visible as a service in the all app settings and stuff, but it can't be used and it's and I'm not really sure why it's happening and I'm really disappointed because I don't have this feature. And also, yeah, lastly, night mode is gone. Yeah, just like that. And I think it's a pixel exclusive because of some hardware compatibility issues. Anyways, and that does for the features. And again, it's a very incremental update, so don't expect a huge amount of changes. And also, this is based off of the developer preview AOSP code. So, yeah, the performance was decent, nothing out of the ordinary, just as performance you would expect from an XS5. There are occasional lags and stutters, but I I blame it on the hardware this time because it's, yeah, it's you know it's a three-year-old phone and and the battery life was surprisingly pretty good I mean it was decent it was nothing that good I would get around three hours of screen on time at the end of the day at four percent or something and if you watched my previous 7.0 video I I mentioned a big uh, problem that the charging speed is really slow but now, now thank god it's fixed and it takes one ampere of current at any point always with any regular charger and it gets juiced up just under 80 minutes or so as usual for a Nexus 5 and well yeah that's basically it overall nothing else I've found in the bugs department it's pretty stable and clean ROM without any crap for getting that smooth no good experience on your Nexus 5 either way that's it thanks for watching like comment subscribe check out the links in the description and yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.